somebody on YouTube commented that I should try and come and see Castello Sanizzano. I researched it. It is closed to the public because it has been sold to somebody in Dubai for 15 million euros. Meant to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of the interiors and the fact that it was first built by the Medici family. So this villa is done up in the Indian style. On the same property. Let's go inside. One of my patrons, Brenda McGee, sent me a little gift and told me to come back here to the antique shop. My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist. After a year and a half of waiting to get back, last year I started to make my move to Italy permanent. I have visited Tuscany a couple of times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on my adventures in Italy and beyond as I capture a video diary of my life and see what myself, Filippo, our family and friends get up to every week. Dowie and I are on a little adventure. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> so, uh, somebody on YouTube commented that I should try and come and see Castello Sanizzano. I researched it. It is closed to the public because it has been sold to somebody in Dubai for 15 million euros. Um, but apparently there's a a group of people out to try and save it because it's meant to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of the interiors and the fact that it was first built by the Medici family. So we're just, we can't walk any further, so we can't drive any further. So uh, we are walking towards the castle. So let's see how much we can actually see of it. So everything's locked, can't get through, except there's a walking path, so let's try. Sixties. Yeah. So as we're coming around the corner, I thought we walked into the, the castle, but no, we haven't. We found something that resembles an underground car park. Industrial car park. Yeah. This is a little creepy. This is how all horror movies start, Dowie. <laughs> I hope they don't end that way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all abandoned. I see some steps, so I think we are getting there. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Let's go see closer. The chances of us... You almost struck me now, Curtis. Yeah. He just walked up on me. Ten yeah. minutes from the car. Yeah. I asked you what the time was. That's almost, it's like two minutes to midday. Oh, the clock still works. Wow. Midday for years. It's two minutes to midday on the clock. There's another one here too. I think we caught on camera. That's okay. Didn't you bring the key with, Dowie? <laughs> I'd love to get inside. I just can't get over the midday, because it's... Yeah. 
How creepy it was. Oh, oh. Somebody. Oh. Maybe he's the owner. No, I doubt. No, no. Yeah. main tower here is absolutely beautiful with uh, the arabesque Moroccan window. How creepy is this? Somebody has left face masks mm. on the on the fence. I can understand if they were building here, but nothing's been done here. I mean, they were builders or, you know, well, actually, there's a massive hole over here. So, somebody or something has been in. Should we try? So I've come through the little hole just to see what we can see. But, yeah, very much like a horror movie in here. I do love the style of this place. Yes, unfortunately, there are no doors or windows open to get to the inside, but I will put some images that I just found on online for you to see what it, how beautiful this place is inside. Built in 1605, this 200-room castle has each room elaborately decorated with mosaic tiles and stained glass in the Moorish arabesque style. Another villa over here, which is also abandoned, but it looks like we could get inside. Should we go look? Well, this is the other castle. Well, this is more of a villa. With a pond that still has water in it. And the castle in the distance. Is that... There are frogs still living in here, in between all the algae. I mean, it's incredible that they can survive. There's one. Very strange. Isn't this the creepiest looking table for a garden you've ever seen, Dowie? So this villa is done up in the Indian style. Yeah. Oh yeah. The house is up there, but look at these, the boundary walls. I mean, no one is getting in there. Let's go inside. So this would have been decorated at some point. And it's completely crumbling as you can see. If you look over here, there's some of those tiles we were talking about that's decorated the entire entirety of the wall. Even more creepy 
is a creepy haunted house on a newspaper on the floor. Probably the strangest thing here I've seen, there's an occultist graffito on a door in an area that's actually inaccessible. One of the strangest things I've seen around here, and I'm not getting the feeling I think we should leave. Around the back, I'm seeing some beautiful window tiles. You could imagine these would have been making really nice impressions with the light coming through on the inside. Okay, I think it's time to go. Also on the property is another building, which I think could have been a staff house. Definitely not a chapel. Yeah, definitely a staff house. What do you guys think? And on the servants' quarters, look at these groovy 60s tiles. <laughs> Look where I have come back to. <laughs> so one of my patrons, Brenda McGee, uh, sent me a little gift and told me to come back here to the antique shop and get the Greek amphora. So I found it again. Thank you so much, Brenda. I'm going to go buy this right away. Still here. Let's go. Philip, I have found something for you. There we go. <laughs> I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work but my filmmaking in general. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.